Welcome you guys to the Oracle of the Feather Crown. Tree, this is your sacral chakra reading for today. And if you'd like to participate in the free question being answered on a weekly basis, look for the details in the description box below. You can also find a timestamp, so if you'd like to jump ahead to the intuitive part of the reading, you may do so easily with that reference. So I'm looking here, so this reading really is about your, your creativity and your sexuality. And we're going to take a couple cards here. The first one is from the Guide to the Art Oracles, and we have Marcel Duchamp. The themes around this card are stardom before, pardon, scandal before stardom. Making it look easy is hard. And may your bathroom humor have a serious legacy. The granddaddy of Dada and precursor to pop, Marcel Duchamp, wrote the fuzzy blueprint for conceptual art and gifted art history, the ready-made, a mass-produced object elevated to art status by the baptizing artist an example in his famous fountain, nay, a common urinal, wordplay and irony were God to Duchamp, who caused consternation early in his career with nude descending a staircase, number two, a mechanical painting of the action with a nari a nude bit distinguishable. Recognition only found Duchamp in his twilight years, but his posthumous legacy is having a heyday. And to accompany this message, we're going to take one for the Well Matrix Chakra from the Myths and Mermaids deck. And we have Absinthe Mermaid. Absinthe Mermaid has wallowed in her addiction for too long. She has become languid. You have also spent too long immersed in an addiction or dependence. Addiction and dependence sap one's energy and rob one of vitality and strength. Something in your life, a substance, an obsession, or an unhealthy relationship is draining your life essence and you need to let it go. Seek assistance from a trusted friend, a wise person in your community, or a professional to help rid you of your unhealthy attachment before it is too late. Once you have escaped, reevaluate your life and take stock of your frailties. What led you down the path of addiction and dependence in the first place? What steps can you take to avoid stumbling down that rabbit hole again? Okay, we're going to look here intuitively at what's going on. There seems to be a presence that feels sort of tattered, sort of worn, that is definitely in a state of surrender, saying, yes, I'm ready, please help, a power beyond me. I am ready to receive something, be it guidance, be it insight, be it just a vision, perhaps even. There is something behind this figure that feels as if they have an understanding that Things are, dare I say, kind of shitty, like things are pissy even. Things are draining out of their life in a way that's unhealthy. And there's a lot of darkness surrounding this. In fact, there's complete darkness. There's not a lot of light in this image. And things feel heavy. They feel worn. They feel, even though there's part of a wheel fragment here it's completely does not look like it would it's functional nothing's moving so that's sort of this energy I get 
from this and then accompanying it, there is something that feels, it feels apart from this energy and it, it's also out of sync. So maybe there's something in the environment of this person that has a jealous energy, an energy that's unhealthy, an energy that in and of itself is toxic, and this energy is very selfish and could perhaps be draining the energy from the first person, which I would assume could be you. I mean, I guess you could be either one of these characters. But yes, I mean, overall here I'm getting that there is a person that's being drained to the point of frailty and another person that seems to have an excess of energy that is almost putrid as if it's just like gaudy on them, like they don't need this much energy. It's not even of their own being. It's not coming from within themselves. They've like painted it on them from taking it from something outside of them. And there's just sort of a putrid quality that's highly masked. It's highly seductive. It, it looks beautiful, but it doesn't feel right. So that's what I have for you today. And if you want to join me tomorrow, I will be doing the solar chakra. So I hope to see you there. Thanks so much.